Uh, this morning, the King's coronation plans have been plunged into chaos, with organisers facing a race against time to nail down the details for the historic crowning at Westminster Abbey. Yeah, let's bring in Royal Editor of the Daily Mirror at Russell Myers in East Essex. Russ, that clock is mm -hmm. ticking. What are the major issues? What's the? Uh, we know there's been hard getting acts, but what other issues could be going on ahead of the big day? Well, you're right. Well, good morning to both of you. Uh, well, of course, you know, the, the countdown is on. We've only got about 24 days now to the big day on May the 6th. Already you mentioned that the organisers are having big issues with the coronation concert, a load of big names sort of pulling themselves out of the frame. But uh, I have been told that the coronation plans are at risk. They're actually in chaos wow. because the, uh, the all the details about the procession, uh, the rows over who will wear what, uh, details about Prince Andrew wearing certain robes, He's apparently not too happy about that. Uh, a ramp being built in Westminster Abbey because the king potentially could trip over his heavy robes. I mean, it's absolutely everything. It, it's all pretty much chaos. But uh, as I'm sure the uh, organisers will say, the show must go on. And, and uh, one, may, one may hope they will be right. Well, RSVPs were due about a week ago, and we still Did don't you know. <laughs> I, I've already sent my. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't make it. Oh, what a shame! Yeah, what a shame. Um, but, you know, we haven't heard whether Harry and Meghan are actually going to attend. Any update? Well, indeed, we haven't heard from Harry and Meghan. We're all waiting and watching to uh, to see what they say. Um, but uh, there's still no decision being made. I mean, they uh, the April the 3rd date has come and gone. Everybody else has got their um, RSVPs in, but they seem to be keeping everybody waiting. Now, maybe there's some horse trading going on in the background. Maybe there's uh, some details about seating plans which uh, incidentally are being held up because Harry and Meghan haven't sent off their reply. But still, we're, uh, we're watching and waiting to see what they decide. All right, so meanwhile, a former diplomat, we want to get into this too, has mm. shed new light on Prince Andrew's, well, it's just bizarre <laughs> behaviour over the years. Some of these stories are really out there. Tell us what's going on, Russ. Well, they are. This is a new ITV documentary that I'm very looking forward to. And it features a, a host of sort of UK diplomats, people who work with the royals, and a chap called Simon Wilson, who is a former member of the UK Foreign Office. Now, he got the pleasure of working with the Duke of York back in the day. And he came up with these sort of whole host of, uh, of sort of riders that the Duke had to travel with. He travelled with his own ironing board. They insisted that his valet iron his trousers in a certain way. He could only drink water at room temperature, no ice. I mean, it sounds like something a, sort of a rock star would travel with, let alone a, someone, a member of the royal family. Yeah, the ironing, ironing board boards. is... <laughs> <laughs> they have them everywhere, Your yeah. Majesty. It's a special type. <laughs> he has a special type. Um, finally, Russ, we're also learning about the Queen's secret request for Prince William and Harry. What has been revealed? Well, this is really interesting because we don't normally get uh, details of, you know, the private audiences with the monarch, but uh, Sir General Mike Jackson, the decorated sort of war vet, uh, British Army commander, has revealed those conversations that he had with Her Majesty about her two grandsons going to war. And it was very much her willingness that she wanted both William and Harry to go to Afghanistan. And we know that Harry uh, formally went there a couple of times, but one of the, my, my best quotes out of all this uh, detail is that the Queen said, well, they've taken my shilling. Now it's time for them to do their duty. Now, uh, you know, there was a bit of a rough rumble about the, the army chiefs wanting to take William away as well. But now we know what the Queen was finally thinking. Wow, this is just fascinating yeah. stuff. Uh, look, there's so much to go and we, we need to keep touching in with you, Russ, about 24 the 24 days to go. Uh, we'll speak to you soon, right. mate. Great to see you. Thanks, Russ. Now hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?